Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all okay. So um, this is a mammoth haul. I've been really naughty. Yeah, that this it's this finger actually has. Yeah, it just does its own thing. I can't help it. I go on Amazon and look, and it just like presses by, and then things turn up. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I've got some beautiful supplies some incredible books and the most amazing gifts to share with you so I hope you don't mind. The first one I've got is from my lovely friend Jackie um, and if you've been following me for a while you know that she sent me some journals that are just out of this world. Um, so she sent this gift that I'm going to show you, it's not colouring related but I've got to share it with you. Um, she says she's been dabbling in this new hobby. Well, you wait till you see, okay? This, I've named her. This is Alice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you even? I mean, look. She's got a little waistcoat. It's got a little collar. Her little button eyes. Her embroidered nose. A little pudgy tummy. And she sits up where well, she's going to be sitting I can't show you properly but she will be look look at her it says Alice on her little foot oh I've got a cotton there um Alice on her little foot so that's why I've called her Alice and she knows obviously that I'm a huge um Alice in Wonderland fan but oh isn't she beautiful um oh I was this is the present that I was telling you about that when it arrived I I sobbed because a, it was made with, clearly with the, it's got a little button like Stife look on there. Handmade with love. Um, yeah, that I, I, I sobbed. When I was a little girl, I had a teddy called Mr. Green. He was green, so I was a very inventive child, clearly. Uh, he went everywhere with me and I loved him, along with a doll called Drowsy. And that was her make, she was called Drowsy. Both of those toys got lost in a house move when the children were little um mr green and drowsy oh my i'm just absolutely mortified and also a load of toys that um my two great um aunts had made for me that were you'd never replace i had an upside down cinderella doll um, uh, a dancing clown, all sorts of beautiful handmade toys and they all went missing in a house move. Um, yeah, and I was just I'm mortified and I still miss Mr Green and Drowsy every day. So when this, this bear turned up, Alice, that was made for me specifically, it, oh, I don't know, I, I can't explain the emotion, it was just incredible, but... Isn't she gorgeous, Alice? And she says, oh, I'm just dabbling. It's in, in beautifully made. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. Jackie, thank you. Oh, I have sent my thanks. And, you know, um, yeah, she's, she's going to be sitting on my bed, on my pillow, waiting for me to come home. Now I've shown you, um, I'm afraid she's going to have to get cuddles at night time because she's just... Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> OK, on with supplies. Now, I've got... The lovely Zoe, uh, addicted to colouring, to thank for this. Thanks, Zoe. <laughs> um, there are a couple of little bits, um, like my new mat. Did you notice? I hope it makes filming clearer because it's just plain. It's plain pink. I don't know if I can um, show you the back. It's. I've got my other mat underneath. It is waterproof, but it's got like a cushiony camera didn't like that did it it's got like a cushiony back on it so it doesn't slip it fits my desk and it just my mind feels so much clearer just ha what is going on behave yourself camera or perhaps it's because it's just a blank background uh, yeah my mind feels so much clearer just having a blank space instead of all those grids and lines but it's underneath if I need it for anything so Zoe came on and she said oh look I've brought Artex pencils I was like Artex what you know how much I love them they are uh, very dear to me my Artex pencils um, and she showed these this 72 set now I was going to get them up and then um, 
but they open like this. Now, if you take note on the front, it says professional coloured pencils, smooth painting, vibrant colours and natural blending. I'm not going to spend too long on them, but um, so you've got the Van Gogh sunflowers and they open in this case like this. Um, and then you've got all the colours here. So instead of being round, they're hexagonal. Right, dipped ends feel incredible to hold they feel really comfortable to hold um, I'm just going to get Amazon up while I'm prattling about and um, so yeah so she introduced us to them and I, I didn't even listen to the whole video the first video I just went straight to Amazon and got them and they are a lot cheaper um, than the uh, bear with me Artex coloured pencils I'm getting there folks I'm getting there Please be there. <sighs> They're a lot cheaper than the other sets that I've got. Where are they? I should have done this before. My apologies. Let me put the swatch in front of you while I, I'm going to go to my orders and get it up that way. Mind you, that could take three years with the stuff I've ordered. Um, yeah, it's not liking it. Oh my gosh, it's um, horrific when you look at, there we go, there they are. Are they, in... can you buy them? Currently unavailable. Well, that's helpful, Amazon UK, that's why they weren't there. Um, I don't know. So, I don't know whether they've just sold out or whether they'll be coming back in, but these are... The 72 set, it says professional coloured pencils, right? Now here is my swatch for the original Artex 72 coloured pencils. And although the colours are, are different, colour names are different, they don't have names on the pencils, these ones. Um, the colours are pretty similar. So I didn't know if that, I thought they were going to be new colours, um, additional colours to our 72 set. But I think that they are the same. However, so having said that, oh no, light peach. They've called it eggshell yellow. Um, I think they're the same and they don't feel any different to me. So if they come back in stock, I think I paid, let me see, view your order details. I paid £24 for them. That's a quite a big difference to the um, other Artex pencils. Well, Zoe contacted them and said, um, can you tell me about these pencils? And Artex had said that these are their student grade pencils. They don't feel any different to me. I haven't coloured with them, to be fair, but they don't feel any different. But the colours are the usual, incredibly beautiful colours. So I'm happy to have them as a backup even if they're not different and that serves me right for um, just jumping in there doesn't it <laughs> but if you haven't been able to get the Artex pencils because of price point these if they come back in stock I'll put a community post up if I find them anywhere um, these are really beautiful pencils um, I did sharpen which I sharpened I didn't sharpen them all here look so I used my Dial 133 and they sharpened to a magnificent point. Yeah, beautiful. So even if they're not different, I'm really happy that I have them in my supplies. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side. And then really quickly, I got... Um, this is the Pentel Matte Hop range. And I think... Um, let me just check. I'll be a lot quicker this time. Um, no, I won't. No, I think there's like 20... Oh, no, 20 colours, I think, something like that, if that, at the moment. But these are... This is ivory. Um, I did show my members in a colouring... Uh, in our latest colouring video on um, 
the honor members group so um, I think it's a one a 1.0 nib but it's a very unusual color to get a that pale and it dries even paler um, that pale color in a gel pen that hasn't got a oh, stupid camera behave yourself that hasn't got sparkles or anything else so I was thrilled to have that and I did use that on a on a page recently so I just got the one just to try it out but they are beautiful if you were wondering about the Pentel Matte Hop I think it was 250 on and that was from Amazon okay so that's that naughty supplies and then I brought a little table to go on in bed when I'm too poorly or too tired or I'm all achy that I could um, sit in bed and do colouring I'm not going to bring that in but it's just a little foldable table that I got from Amazon so I wanted some different bits and bobs and this fell in the basket come on camera it doesn't like this background does it the uh, pastel set of super tip um, colours and um, we got them I don't know a few weeks ago this is piled up this is not just like overnight <laughs> um, and I got them for the for our members group to colour in our eerie book to do some of the other spaces that um, uh, you know that is a pain in the bum because that paper can be quite tricky so I then swatched them and on my listing when I brought them Sorry, I keep saying brought, it's bought. When I bought them, they were, um, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, it was for the Eerie book. Yeah, on the listing is what I was saying. They, you've got all the numbers, but then all the names, but they're not on the box. But they come in this order with the colour down the side next to the box lid. So you knew which colours were what, but look at them look at those colours and then turn over oh my gosh absolutely incredible so excuse me um yes yeah, so i'm really looking forward to trying these i mean you can go straight into your book or you can scribble on a board and pick them up with a water brush so yeah absolutely incredible colours so they were taken off into my little uh, into my room um, and then <laughs> these fell in my basket. I don't know where they came from. <laughs> I don't know how they got here. They were just here. Okay, they've been attacked violently, as you can see. Oh my goodness. I'm going to move out a bit. Maybe I'm just too close. This set of Sharpies, which I am i can't find anywhere. Uh, it says special edition, um, but... I can't find anywhere the name. See, look, they've been violently attacked. These are the bold nibs. And it's these three that are missing, because I've been using them from this set. So those three come with it. And then these are the swatches. So they're alcohol-based, and uh, they stink to high heaven. I'm just letting you know. They do really smell, and, um, yeah... They colour beautifully, but they stink. So I've got these three out because I'm currently using them on a page in my room. And then, because I liked them so much, this new set fell in my basket. And there's a couple of colours here that go in there too. Now these are called Mystic, the Mystic Gem Set. And you, oh, they're beautiful. Look at those colours. Um, and some of them are quite unusual to find in alcohol markers like to get a decent yellow is really difficult I don't know why everything either comes out green doesn't it or you know not you can get some but but I loved the colours and I just love what they're like to hold they feel so comfortable when my hands are sore and so I went from me uh, yeah is it medium nib did I say Oh, fine, these ones. Ultra fine, are like fine liners. These are called fine nibs. Um, and you can colour on the side and get a wider line or do a thin line just by holding it upright. Um, they don't have names or numbers and they stink. 
<laughs> but they're beautiful colours so that's the sacrifice that you have to make so I got those and I'm loving colouring with them um, just yeah make sure you've got a window open because they are very very stinky so I'll move those out of our way um, I try not to throw them everywhere there we go and then because they weren't enough colours and that annoyed me <laughs> so I found the Shuttle Art set of 60 permanent markers. I thought, well, I wonder if they're the same. They look the same. Um, so let's have a look at one. I've got to take out this beautiful colour. I mean, if we could do a comparison, the tip's quite a little different. The cap. In fact, the Shuttle Art is probably more sturdy. Yeah, it is than the Sharpie um, and that's about it really. Sharpie's got a grey body, this one's got a white one with shuttle art on it. Let's have a look at the tip. I got again I got the fine point. Let's see. And that here we go. I mean yeah. And if you listen to this, right, this is Sharpie lid going back on. Nothing, no click, nothing. They do fit snug, but if you take the um, Castle Art, uh, yeah, no, Shuttle Art, sorry, and put the lid back on, you know it's done. So I was impressed with them. There's 60 colours in there, they were £23. Each one of those Sharpie sets were like 14 something, £14. And these are the colours. They do bleed through because they're alcohol based. These are the colours that you get. I mean, if we go to that, um, if I get the swatch, if I can find it now. Here we go. If we go to the swatch for the um, Mystic Gems set, that those two colours are almost identical, aren't they? That's This is the Shuttle Art ones. Um, that one's quite unique, I think. Is it? That colour is quite unique, that sort of green-grey. Um, but that colour and that colour are the same. And that's quite unique, isn't it, as well? But, um, yeah, I mean, if you wanted a budget alternative, they don't have that pastel yellow that the Mystic Gems have got, but um, if you wanted a more budget-friendly alternative, these are exactly the same. And I'm not sure... They don't... They do smell, but nothing like the Sharpies. So I don't know what that's all about. And then that's the other sh Shuttle Art one there that, that's missing, but I've been using it. So, they, yeah, they fell in the basket. But I'm so happy to have them. And I just wondered if they were going to be a cheaper alternative and easier for my hands than alcohol markers. I don't know. We, are, we, will, um, we shall find out, folks, in the future, no doubt. I might end up high as a kite in my bedroom, but <laughs> who's watching? <laughs> OK. All right. Now, um, also for our... Facebook uh, for my members group and no doubt they will appear on the channel. I got the Yahoo Hoo brush markers. Now I have the set of pastel, bold and mid colours that I did a review on on the channel and absolutely love them. The colours are fantastic, they're great for basing, I use them over and over again in colouring books and they're just, you can't get them anymore. What they've done is brought out a small set, I think of 20, called journaling pens that are the same as those. But they've got, they've put a fine tip on instead of the little tiny felt tip bullet tip that I had that I loved. So I've got them, but I can't use them now on the channel because nobody's going to be able to get them. So that's really annoyed me. Um, so I got these um, to use our, in our Eerie book as well. I, ha I have done one page with a background and then chalk over the top. But um, what I did was take them out and I numbered every single one of them. Yes, that was a job. And did um, a little... Oh, uh, yeah, they sent a chart, I think, and I photocopied it. Or I made my own. I can't remember. 
and then uh, they're not in any particular order but this is what they look like I've wedged mine in the box because you have to put them some of them in on the small end you know up so they all fit but I wanted numbers on them so this is what they look like they're numbered 114 no name just numbered black barrel feel cheap and plasticky um, quite a long uh, tip so that can be quite hard for somebody that has um, dexterity issues to um, have refined movements with them um, whereas the other ones the other uh, who, who have the shorter nib and it was beautiful and then that tiny little tiny little fine line which barely does anything you have to like get a magnifying glass to see if it's worked so yeah I mean they're nice don't get me wrong got beautiful colors but I'm just getting a darker one there's your fine liner and it really is very fine so and here's the brush so you can get you know thick or thin lines they are nice they are nice I'm just being critical because I'm annoyed that I had to buy another set to use on YouTube because um, they've discontinued those and why they were just incredible pens so I don't know anyway anywho I've got new colors some of these weren't in my other set but yeah I won't keep banging on that's the Ahuhu 120 set but you can get 160 and you can get smaller sets too so that's those. Yes, I've been very naughty, haven't I? I know. I know. But these, like, these were, I think, £4.50. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? And, and they're super tips. They last for, like, 40 million years. So... <laughs> um, OK. And then... Right. Our lovely friend, Kevin... He uh, listened to one of my videos um, ages ago and I'd said that I'd got the original sets of Black Widow that didn't have the dipped end and I love colouring with Black Widows but boy they drove me demented trying to find the right colour. can't get in them, my hands aren't doing very well. So the new sets if you buy them, I haven't opened them as you can see, I've kept them sealed. The new sets as you can see all have dipped ends. And I love that. I love, like I say, colouring with... Oh, you can see me. Don't look. How rude. <laughs> I love colouring with um, Black Widows. That's throwing me off that, Huss. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm putting the lid back on. Stop it. <laughs> um, I love colouring with Black Widow pencils. So I've got Black Widow, Scorpion and the Cobra sets. And Kevin sent those. Um, just because I wanted the dipped ends. So it's lovely to have them because I'm very short on my original sets. So I'm not I'm going to tip it away from me. You're not, no. Behave yourself. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. My hair's a mess. There. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful colours. Beautiful colours. Thank you, Kevin. I have sent my thanks, but yeah, I'm so grateful to you. Thank you. It's always looking after our channel, always sending us exciting things to experiment with. And it's his fault that I fell in love with Artex. Okay, talking of supplies, I've just taken them out of the packaging. I've kept them in there to, um, so I can't use them until I've done my haul. Um, my lovely friend Rebecca sent me um, an email to say that she was going to send me some bits and bobs and she said there's not much but it is practical. I mean, oh, God love her. So she sent me the 30 Derwent um, eraser refills um, for, for uh, and they fit in my AF mat which is very well loved and used on a daily and you just slide that out and then put them in but uh, I go through them a lot and um, yeah they're just awesome and that's just an incredible gift to have so <coughs> Rebecca thank you and then she didn't stop there ages ago I can't remember how many months ago I'd said on my channel if anybody knows of any gel pens that aren't uh, glitter neon or you know I don't know strawberry jam whatever <laughs> can you let me know and she sent me these. 
um, these are uh, 0.7mm retractable gel pens and they're not I'm going to have to show you. Is there a make on here? No. Uh, um, the Shuttle Art. They're by Shuttle Art. Let me get a piece of paper and I'll show you. They are... I'll do it this way. I have, I have had sneaky play, obviously, because who wouldn't? I mean, look at those colours. So let's go for a pink, as usual. So they look like a regular pen. They've got that cushiony bit. They're nice and chunky to hold on to. I mean, if you compare that to um, the Pentel Matte Hop, they're, they're really nice and chunky. So they'd be good for, for writing too. Now they all came, I don't know if you can see that, with wax on the tip. So I just took my nail and scraped it off, look. And that was to keep the stop the ink from drying out. Um, and there's another bit on there. It's a bit annoying to take them off, but I'd rather that than um, them dry up. And then... And they're matte colours. Look at that. And the way they um, the way they roll is just gorgeous. Could you? Why is my camera being a pain in the bum? Okay, let me black out my name. Hang on. Um, I've got a permanent marker here. Hang on. I'll just black out my name. I hope you were prepared for a long video. Okay, just taking my name out and when they came I couldn't resist playing with them but <laughs> I know it's it's scruffy but it was just playing with them um, they're all the colors both sides isn't that aren't they gorgeous and even on the brown look they look good they're just beautiful absolutely gorgeous and it made me quite sad that Rebecca felt that um, that they were just, um, you know, like useful things because I was so over the moon to get them because I like I like using them in small intricate places. I, you know, I like to try and blend them, and this is um, just. Uh, I mean, the colours they're just fabulous. So that's why they haven't got the wax left on them because I've been naughty and been playing. Look at that, and they roll. They're so smooth. So they're called, actually, look, it's got Smart Gel on there. And that's what they look like close up. And then with the... And the fact that you can pop them in and out, I love it. And you can see the ink. Yeah, they're just probably some of the nicest ones I've had. So, um, Rebecca, they're, you know, that gift is so well received. You know, uh, uh, yeah. You guys blow me away all the time and just it sort of goes in flits and flurries of people send seem to send everything all at once and I get all embarrassed and emotional and yeah but that's a gorgeous present a gorgeous gorgeous gift Rebecca and I really appreciate it thank you darling okay so I move that out of the way I'm going to keep going I was going to split it into two parts but I think I might as well keep going hadn't I okay so that's the shuttle art um, smart gel pens I will try and put as much in the description box as I can down below these are in my wish list I kept them there because you know me and needing to erase things so I've kept them there I'll keep this out for uh, camera purposes okay guys I'm sorry to butt in but she's wittering on too much no I'm just joking um, I knew there was something missing and how could I have misplaced this? This was underneath everything and I thought I'd done everything. But Emma, you are a darling, honestly. Thank you so, so much. She sent me the 10th anniversary edition of Secret Garden. Now, I have the original, of course. I think most people do, but it's magnificently fluffed up, as most people's are. And... Um, I, yeah, I I wanted to redo it um, because 
I mean, I don't even want to bend the book. It's so precious. Look at this. I absolutely love this double page spread. Is anybody interested in a Joanna Basford secret garden colour along? I know, I know there is a mammoth amount out there of Joanna Basford's colourings. And I don't know if you're fed up with them or, you know, if, you, if you've had enough of them. But let me know. I would love to... Um, I would love to uh, share with you if you're interested. If not, I'll do it by myself and show you as finished finish pages. I won't be offended, she says. <clears throat> no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, Emma, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. And I, I, it wasn't done on purpose. I had so much stuff that I'd been naughty and accumulated as well that um, it, it was underneath here to show. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to have it. So please let me know. Oh, love that page. It's the double pages, I think, that draw me. How challenging is that? Wow, okay. All right, folks. So I'll let you go back to whichever part I've slotted um, myself into and enjoy the rest. Thank you for being with me. Okay, so I mentioned Zoe earlier. Yeah, she's a pain. You're a menace, Zoe. <laughs> so um, I brought in a haul this colouring book um, last time I showed it and it's just beautiful it's got a hardback cover um, it's called Brown Bear Wood Colouring and Spotting Book I'm just going to show you quickly in case you haven't seen it now if you like intricate and teeny tiny and gel pens um, that's what it is now it says colour and spotting but it's part of the image. It's not a stupid playing card thrown in there or anything. So this one will say, uh, Bear drying off after his swim. So there's Bear down there, drying off after his swim. So, I mean, it's, um, yeah, you don't even have to do that part. But it does make it quite fun when you're colouring. So, Zoe then, she brought this book after seeing mine. And then Zoe found this which is if you go down in the woods today now there's two others that Zoe showed on her channel um, that's Zoe addicted to um, coloring and um, she showed yeah she showed the all three books and they have every single page from these books in it this is a hardback children's book and it's the actual children's version of the book however now because I've got a grandson it will come in handy for me but However, look, 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 look at the colours. Um, I wish they would bring a book out that's the same size so that we can actually get the proper detail and it's not so teeny tiny. I wish they'd do that. But um, the imagery in here and the colours they've used is just out of this world. I mean, look at that. I don't know if the brown bear shaking off after a bath is in here, but um, there are a lot of these here. So I went for this one because I, you know, I thought my little fella would like to sit and do it with me. Um, I don't know if that image I've just shown you is in here. There he is. <laughs> Can you see him? So there's that image that I just showed you there. And then, yeah, so uh, they're... This is called Swimming Lessons and it says um, Bear drying off after his swim, a shy frog. You know, I'm not going to sit, I'm not probably not going to be able to find it. Oh, there he is, a little shy frog down here. Uh, but yeah, so um, you know what I'm like for colouring, copying artwork. So this was an, an absolute must. So thanks, Zoe. <laughs> I'm only joking, she's amazing. Um, Okay, and then before I got this, I was um, looking for the little fella for books that I could read with him. Oh, damn it, I've missed out a supply. Um, so, um, looking, yeah, looking for books like this that I could do with the little fella. And um, my, the little fella being my grandson, in case you don't know. And I found in one pack, after the storm, one snowy night, the rescue party, the secret path, 
the treasure hunt and Percy's Bumpy Ride, all children's storybooks of um, Percy the Park Keeper and uh, by Nick Butterworth and look at the illustrations in here and they've just got a lovely story and words that the little fellow will be able to pick out that he knows himself you know all that that you do you know teaching to read and um, all that kind of thing so look at them <laughs> just the imagery is oh look the imagery is just fabulous so then I went on a hunt. I thought, oh, I wonder if there's a colouring book for Percy the Park Keeper. Well, that led me down a whole rabbit hole. So um, there is, or there was. So I found these two on eBay. So I got A Year with Percy and Percy the Park Keeper. And all the images, I think I'm missing one book out of the set here. Uh, but all the images are in here. These are old. So I was so pleased to actually get them. I didn't pay a lot of money for them. Um, um, they were these came out in 1997. Can you believe that? By Harper Collins. And then I couldn't find any more. There must have been a whole series of them, because this is a year with Percy. This is Percy, um, as you can see, the Winter Story. Um, and then you get a little image at the top to copy. Well, that was me sold, wasn't it? Um, yeah, paper's not bad. So I got those from eBay and I just thought, oh, that'd be nice. I can use the little fella's books to help me colour them in, not realising you've got this little thing. But then I realised how many images I was mis missing, so it annoyed me and I went on the hunt. And I found Colour in Heaven, 48 designs um, by the same illustrator Nick Butterworth um, and I had to get this off of eBay I could not find it on um, on uh, Colour in Heaven's site so I don't know if it's discontinued but I wondered how many of you have got it because um, I was thinking about um, memberships and things like that and I would love to be able to just sit and copy images and do it as a, a video, you know, as a membership, additional membership to my romantic country or something. But there's that beautiful image that's on the front of that. And in that other book that I showed you, yeah. So I won't sit and flip through the whole thing, but... It's absolutely adorable. I had to pay over and beyond, of course, because um, I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I had to pay over and beyond, but aren't these images beautiful? There's a very intricate one. And I've got all of the coloured images of it in those books. And yeah, but I don't know what issue, what issue is this? This is issue 38. So I don't know when that came out. It was £6.90. Um, and is it a special or is it part of the subscription? I presume, well, her Colouring Heaven collection. So is that, I can't remember now because I've cancelled my subscription, but I don't know if that's, uh, no, it must be just a collection, part of the subscription. But, oh, I was so pleased to get hold of it. A bit annoyed about how much I had to pay for it, considering it was only £7 originally. So I don't know if they're still about or how many of you have got it, but absolutely gorgeous book. I had to show you. Uh, yeah, so that was me being naughty again. And then I must show you this. Um, so I forgot this supply. I'm just getting them out of the boxes. I've kept them in there so that um, I've tried to behave myself, but I don't like using stuff until I've shown you. So... The lovely Tay, I hope I'm saying your name right, Tay, went on my wish list and brought, bought um, Fairy Tales by Emily Lydell Olberg. Now, I did have a copy of this way, way back, ruined it and ripped a page out or cut a page out and it fell apart. So I've never touched it since. Now, she is bringing out her um, Saga Oxagna, which is really popular book, hardback book. It's in my wish list if you want to go over and have a look. 
you can pre-order it to be delivered in October this year which uh, and it's a beautiful book so um, yes yeah, so if Tay ordered me this and I'm not sure that the paper's as thick as the original but I'm so happy to have it unfluffed up I don't know if you haven't seen it but um, I think she's um, a Scandinavian art so but I am so pleased to have it. Absolutely beautiful book. So it's double sided, but um, I mean the original was really thick. I don't know what, what edition is this, because I think mine, this is Gibbs Smith. So where was it published? This was originally published, in, um, first came out in 2017. This is the Swedish edition. So, oh, hang on. No, it's not. It's the English edition. This is. The original Swedish edition was 2016. I bet that's what I've got, the Swedish edition. Um, but this paper is still good quality. Actually, I will probably get on with this paper better than I did the um, the other paper. It's, it's, it's uh, smoother. Yeah, and I just I won't go through the whole thing because there'll be a million flip throughs of it. But look at that, those little knitted toys. Um, I can't remember. I can show you if I can find her. I'll do a quick like flippy flip flip, <laughs> finger flip through. I'll see if I can find it. I went straight for those uh, mermaid, um, and this must have been right at the start of my colouring journey. And I went straight for the mermaid. Sorry, folks. It's a big book. It's quite hard to handle. My hands are being... Yeah, her. I went straight for her with Neo Color 2s, not having a clue what I was doing. I think it was her. Was it her? Yeah, she must... It must have been. And went straight in, ham-fisted, heavy-handed, wrecked her completely beyond recovery and cut her out and this is sewn bound as well glued and sewn this one and I cut the page out the book completely fell apart and um, at that point I was like oh well I've messed the book up so I'm not going to touch it I, I can't colour in it anymore and it just sort of sat there being fluffed up with paint all over the other page and you know so when I heard that she was bringing out Saga Oxagna and I think we've got um, Claire, colouring with Claire to thank for that. Um, it is colouring with Claire, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Um, I think she campaigned to get it reprinted and so they've done it. When I heard that it was coming, that she was bringing the other book out again, I thought I have to get it. We've got to do some colouring in here because it's just gorgeous. One of those incredible, gorgeous square books. Yeah, beautiful. And then she brought me these. Mm. Paper Mate Flare. Now I've been dying to try these. And because they were a gift, I didn't really want to be naughty and take them out until I'd shown you. So these are a water based marker. And ooh, look at them. Aren't they posh looking? Wow. Uh, store tip down, it says. So well, that's helpful. Uh, and these are Papermate Flare Metallic. Metallic ink. So let's have a look. Oh, they're nice to colour with. Oh, they're really nice to colour with. They've got a very fine metallic, uh, very fine fibre. I think it's fibre. Um, nib on them. You're spoiling me, guys. But I can use these in colouring books. Let's have a look. This is really cheap copy paper. So I went over and over there, and there's just a little bit of ghosting. I don't know what's happening with my camera. I wonder if I've pressed a setting or something. Um, oh, look at that. 
Let's see if how they dry, shall we? Right, I'm going to rip that bit. Let's get a, a silvery looking one. Oh, they're lovely to colour with. Ew, this is so exciting. What colour is this? Is it a dark grey? Oh, there's, oh, it's two silvers. I'm being dim. Uh, let's get another one. Oh, let's have a... Right, I'm in now, so let's go for a bright orange. Oh, look at that. Let's see how they dry. Are they metallic -y? Or are they just going to be gorgeous pens to have? So, oh, they really feel really lovely. I know people rave about the um, Papermate flares for colouring, but... Um, oh, they are. There is a sparkle coming. Um, I don't know if you'll pick that up in my room. But there is a sparkle on them. Oh, that orange, you can really see it. I don't know if I tip it that way. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But, yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous. As it's drying, you can really see it. Oh, beautiful. Subtle, but it's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Tay. That's so, so lovely of you. You're such a sweetheart. Um, okay, so let's move my scrap paper. So there's that one. And then I've got another little pile down here. Not as many now, but um, yeah. So when I was being naughty, um, I ordered um, the uh, is it Yuri book about his journey. Now he's got a new one out, of course. The Travelling Mouse, isn't it? Um, and I was, I did offer to, I did put it up in my community to do a, pa oh, look at it, to do a page on, um, for Easter, because it's just beautiful. I got mine from uh, Chill and Sarah on, um, Etsy and now I found the Aladdin site Zoe again and then went and watched um, Shell's colouring journey on um, which incidentally I love her channel um, went and watched that on how to use it but this book is just beautiful it's just so cute and the paper is very smooth not particularly that thick but um, very smooth beautiful gorgeous gorgeous little book so I was there was this page Easter page or this one but I see a lot of people did it because clearly it's a very beautiful book and um, they all wanted to colour it and why not why wouldn't you it's just gorgeous yeah look isn't it so I got that uh, but that I think I used some money that I've been kindly gifted on PayPal which I always put back into the channel and then I got the new matchstick mouse now this one is a bit different this is the big adventure coloring book um, so a bit different setting so he's going to go on his travels I don't know if you haven't seen this one but so koala which is lovely to have different I mean I, I don't get me wrong I love the matchstick mouse but it is lovely to have little other critters in there so one of the suggestions I had about setting up an additional easy colouring membership was to colour in Matchstick Mouse and complete the book. Um, so you'll have to let me know your thoughts on that. Um, yeah, because so we've got all these other little critters. Look, we've got gators. I'm not sure whether they're gators or um, crocs. I'm not sure, but look at that image. And it's jungly. I love it. I'll move, I'll move in a bit. I've got Parrot. Um, I haven't even done a proper flip of this. Oh, look. A oh, little monkey. Oh. oh, what is he? What's he meant to be? What do you think he is, folks? Is he a lion? Maybe? I don't know. He's playing hockey or shinty, one of the two. And of course, little worm features in it. Oh, look. Do you think he's a little hamster? It's 
got a stubby tail sticking out. It could be. And he likes his monkey nuts. Oh, mere cat <laughs> with the famous pose look. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Go on, look at the little mice. Little baby mice. Oh, are they his? Are they mice? Yeah, look like it. They've got a, what's the squiggle down their back? Maybe they're not. I'm a bit thick with these things. Oh, a hot air balloon. They always look beautiful, but it would terrify me. It's gone off to Paris. Oh, bungee jumping look. Oh, and the worms joining in. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. It's a brilliant, brilliant book. I think it's one of the best. Other than Pumpkin Party, which... Um, uh, I got uh, the book the, and the children's book so I could see the illust uh, how, how it was coloured sort of thing. Oh. oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. In Rome. Uh, maybe the Galapagos Islands. I don't know. <laughs> isn't it lovely? Oh, the Northern Lights look. Oh, a little donkey ride. Amsterdam. <laughs> Mexico, look at that guy. <laughs> That's hilarious, look at him. <laughs> oh dear, That's so funny. That got me, that one. <laughs> and there's the famous picture that everybody does at the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, silverback maybe and that's it oh that's so good that's an incredible book I love it and I also got bearing in mind these have built up I also got and then I see everyone's got this so it's really good it's really good value book it's very cheap um, this is by Nina Stagner um, 30 woodland inspires inspired whimsical illustrations and it is hand drawn it is not AI and they are, it's a little square book. So here's Matchstick Mouse if I turn it on the side and then put that next to it. Yes, it's slightly wider, but square. If I um, turn it on its side, look at these illustrations. Amazon print. But I couldn't resist as soon as I saw it. And then I see everyone, um, they obviously looked at that cover and thought, oh yeah, it's gorgeous. And a lot of people knew the artist and she'd had it, had it on Etsy. Um, Kay was saying that she had it on Etsy and then it disappeared and people couldn't get it so as soon as it came on Amazon people were like yes please I mean isn't it gorgeous it's just so cute I love it and you know me I like landscapes and I like uh, animals and forests and innocent things you know so that's My Tiny Forest by Nina Stagner, I think that's how you say it. I do apologise if it's not. Matchstick Mouse by Morgan O'Brien. Can't remember. That's really bad. I can't remember. Um, Yuri? Is it Yuri? Okay. Okay. So, there's that. And then, last, but by very no means least, um, this arrived and guess where it's from can you guess <laughs> all the way from Australia with a beautiful card and this is from my lovely friend Chris uh, who um, she has followed the channel for a long time and always supported me and we've emailed each other and she sent this for my birthday because obviously it's been coming from Australia she didn't know how long it'd take to get here and bits and bobs and um, so I'm, I'm I've it's my 50th birthday in May. I know. I know. I'm not playing being 50 at all. So she brought me this gorgeous coaster. And doesn't it go well with my mat? Isn't that cool? Um, all the way from Oz. Tea Time Koala Girl. Original artwork. Digital illustration. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So I can sit on my desk. But she sent me the colouring enterprise of woodland animals. I'm going to have to come out. 
this is a mammoth book. Huge, huge book. Um, it says The Colouring Enterprise of Woodland Animals. Now, they do have um, other enterprise books. This one's made in the USA. Uh, I don't know if it's AI or not, but it's a magical colouring book that takes you on a delightful journey through a whimsical world of autumn animals dressed in enchanting outfits inspired by medieval, vintage and other fantasy styles. This extraordinary colouring book offers a blend of nature, magic and creativity. Within its pages you will discover 70 intricate illustrations featuring an array of woodland creatures, from majestic bears to playful rabbits and cunning foxes. Each animal is brought to life in intricate detail. These endearing characters reside in a magical realm where you can colour and enjoy the adventures of the fantasy world dressed creatures. So um, I can't see an artist. I could be wrong. So it may be, this is manufactured in Sydney. Your paper's so much better than ours. Whoa! Australia, your paper's really nice, Amazon paper. You see the glue, we've got a bit of glue ooze there. Their paper's really nice, really smooth. Wow. Oh, from the author. Man Manrique? I don't know. Uh, so I'm just trying to read to see if it is AI or not. She says, my art, that ever since she was a little girl, she's enjoyed it, uh, creating and sharing my art with the world. Wow. If she has drawn these, O-M-G, as they say. I mean, look, this reminds me of Wind in the Willows, Ratty, um, in Wind in the Willows, which, incidentally, I've tried to find a colouring book for Wind in the Willows. There isn't one. Oh, look at that. We've got lots of pages in between. Um, and I saw somebody's coloured image on Instagram and I thought, what is that book? And um, I asked them what it was and they sent me a, um, a link and I put it on my wish list and Chris contacted me and said, I'd like to get it for your birthday for you, Lucy. Which is just, thank you, Chris, you're so lovely. Look at him. So if it puts your mind at ease, oh, look <laughs> <laughs> I have to protect their modesty. So it seems to be that um, it is hand-drawn images. And this is lovely that they've put the blotter page in between. Oh, oh my goodness. Aren't they incredible? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, look at that warrior. I mean, it's just the light. It already with no colour on it. You get that almost glare, don't you? Like you want to protect your eyes from that light source. Oh, he's lovely. So I don't know if there's repeated images or not. <gasps> Is that supposed to be like Little Red Riding Hood? Look at that tree. I'm going to have to look her up, so um, I don't know how to say her name. Oh. I'll look her up and see if she is um, has drawn these or if it's AI, but I don't see any like AI tell telltale signs at the minute. I might have missed them, like manky hands. They look well drawn and for uh, formed. I don't see any of the tell. Oh my gosh any of the telltale signs do you guys i think if she's hand drawn this i just would blow me away oh my good grief they're just stunning they get better as the book goes on oh chris thank you and oh, look at that how they've got that perspective the distance oh Absolutely gorgeous. If you're still with me, thank you, by the way. I've done a lot of rambling, I know. It's probably the longest haul video in the world. But I don't want I didn't want to split it up into two. I don't want people to think that I'd prioritised anything over anything else because I haven't. And each gift 
touches me just the same. Look at the sloth. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Oh, little hedgehogs. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, that deserves colour, doesn't it, people? Oh, my gosh. Look at them. Oh. Oh, oh, so do they. Look at that. Now I'm looking at her feet. She's got human type feet and I don't see any errors there or her hands. I am praying that this is not AI because I may have just found another, oh my gosh, top 10 artist if that's the case. I don't think it is, folks. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. I really don't think it is. Tell me if you know. Tell me, but I don't see that. Like I say, I don't see the fluff ups. <laughs> yeah, they're gorgeous. Oh wow. Oh, <laughs> just so lovely. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Chris, thank you so so much. What a pleasure. Oh. Aren't they lovely? Oh, I like that one. Oh, I love that one. Oh, and that one. See, look how the hands are. That just, it doesn't look. There's no, I don't see any errors. And they're, you know, we would have seen one by now, surely, if it was AI. And now you've got, and now I'm examining everything, but I don't see it. Oh, aren't they? Oh, look! Oh, little piggy. Oh, he's lovely. Oh. Oh, magnificent. Look at that. Very majestic. Oh. This is so much better paper. Amazon Australia. Maybe he's gone to rescue Rapunzel in the background. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it gorgeous? And it's dark grayscale, but... Oh, look at that. Wow. But not that dark that you couldn't colour it. I would use that background to my advantage. I would leave that. I would colour this bit and leave that background, I think. Might put a bit of colour in there. Maybe with some pan pastel or something. Oh, I absolutely love it. And now I've shown you all, I can start colouring in them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to... There is loads in... Oh, wow, look at that. How many pages did I say? 70. So it's really, really... lovely isn't it and I think it was like 14 15 pound if, if I remember correctly I could be wrong but um, oh, look at her look at her like queen dress and her hands look yeah <laughs> oh, look at his chubby legs and his little knees <laughs> oh my goodness oh he's gorgeous <laughs> oh oh they are beautiful i will look it up and i'll i'll um if i remember i will let you know unless somebody can tell tell us in the comments um, if you're still with me while well, I've witted her. Oh, look, she's cute. Little preppy fox. Uh, yeah, after all my witterings on. But, oh, this is magnificent. They all are. Oh, I mean, where do I... I don't even know where to begin. This is gorgeous. So I was looking for Wind in the Willows book and I couldn't find a nice Wind in the Willows colouring book. There is a couple, but they're not really... I wanted like 
original art and uh, this is about as close as I'm going to get to it aren't I just absolute look at that absolutely magnificent I love that one oh that's beautiful oh oh look at him that reminds me of the ink house coloring book there's a I'm sure there's an image like that with a I don't know if he's he's sat on a sofa isn't he the fox and stood outside the door I think oh look at the bear his little nose beautiful face oh wow hog see the just the innocence and beautifulness oh it's that having a read with her afternoon tea it's like I was saying to everybody uh, in the, my members video, I said, that's it, I'm moving to a romantic country. Did I tell you? I'm off. There's no crime. There's lots of food. Everyone's happy. I'm off. <laughs> oh, look, wedding day. Look at that. Doesn't he look smart? Very dapper. Oh, yeah, I think, I, oh, look, that's the view I want from my cabin my cabin in the woods I'd really like that all more trees around me and I'm not fast oh, look. it's nice to see foxes made into um, endearing creatures instead of just cunning horrible things I've been following um, a fox on YouTube a fox res rescue center Oh my gosh, you should see, I can't, what should you call him? Uh, I can't remember what he's called. Begins with an F, but um, the the affection and the greeting, um, it's like he's laughing when she's tickling his tummy and stuff. It's just, oh, it's beautiful to watch. That reminds me of Scrooge. Not because she looks mean or nothing, but just like the Dickensian style of it, you know? That is stunning. Look at that image. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's quite Dickensian, isn't it? It's lovely. It's just gorgeous. So if you know or you've spotted anything that makes you think it's AI, let me know. But I don't, I haven't, but I'm not, I'm, I get very excited over beautiful images and don't see that. But the way she's introduced herself at the beginning, I'm not sure. So and there we are. I think that's it. One more. Oh yeah, he's nice. Okay, so that was the colouring um, enterprise of woodland animals. Um, I can't read that. If you can read that, I can't even read it on the screen. But um, it's made in the US. Purchase. Uh, I don't know. And then I've read you that bit that she says about herself. There it is. Manriquez Creations. Printed in the United States. There's the ISBN if you wanted it to have a look. There you go. Well, my lovely friends, I'm surrounded by incredible gifts and naughtiness myself. I want to send a massive thank you to everybody that sent me something. Um, I think we'll have to have um, Alice's channel mascot. What do you reckon? Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, lovely. My lovely little bear. Um, yeah, a massive thank you to everybody that sent something. It means every every time a parcel turns up, I'm like a child. I'm excited. I'm ripping it open. I can't wait to see what it is. So to have to sit and wait to, <laughs> to haul it is agony. But yeah, I want to send a massive thank you. And a massive thank you to all my channel members. You are making so many things possible for me. You have no idea. 
and the boost of self-esteem and confidence is just amazing. And then to everybody here that follows me and likes the video, you make a massive difference because, of course, none of this is possible if I don't have you guys behind me. And so uh, I love you all for that. I really do. And it, uh, my heart, felt, I never, ever thought that um, I would have this many people follow me like me. You know, it's not it's not me. I've not been a, a popular person, like they say, because I, I'm tired and I can't do the things everybody else does. So... Um, it, it, yeah, it's not been, um, yeah, I've never been a popular person. So to have the many follow followers that I've got is just incredible. And I, and I thank you and love you all for it. Um, however you support me, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. It doesn't matter to YouTube anyway. So. <laughs> all right, my lovely friends. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, everyone. Um, so until we meet again in the very near future, because it's not as if I haven't got choices here to share with you, is it? Take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Night night.